Hi everyone. Thanks for checking out our GoFundMe for Justin Gendron. Right now we are preparing for what should be his actual final reparative surgery. We will be almost a thousand miles away from home for at least a month. But first, let me give you a little history so you can understand why we need your help. At 28 weeks we caught what we thought was SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. And that was the start of the adventure that is our oldest son. He has seen a lot in his little life. He was born six weeks early via emergency C-section, had dozens of upper endoscopies with esophageal bandings, a major hemorrhage, a minorish hemorrhage. In one year, he racked up over 30 days in the hospital, with one stay over 25 days. During that stay, he had a 17-day coma, and they had to push five pediatric units of blood before they could do the operation that preceded the coma. He's had a heart surgery to cure his WPW, or Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome, what we thought was the SVT. After his surgery, he could also end up needing physical therapy again. He's been through occupational therapy and physical therapy, and his mother and I are reaching out for help, especially because of the nature of our two home family now. Funds are even tighter at times. While we are up there, we won't be able to work and we'll be away from friends and family. We will leave Joel at home for at least two weeks of that so he can still attend school and interact with his friends and have some semblance of a normal life. We are both very excited, very hopeful, and also we're scared and worried. Yes, we have our family and loved ones and our significant others to lean on. However, we do need your help. The cost of living out of a hotel, almost a thousand miles away from home, eating in the hospitals, the travel, not being able to work during that time. She is a teacher who's going to have to take at least a month off. I'm a disabled father, so we really need your help. To sum up what's coming up, in kind of a Cliff Notes version, We'll be up there around August 4th or August 5th. His tests and pre-op workups start on the 6th. And so on the 4th to the 5th, we will fly up to Chicago from Raleigh, North Carolina. And then on the 12th, he will have his surgery. It's a Rex shunt procedure is the intention. And then spend at least a week inpatient for monitoring and everything then at least two weeks at a close hotel in case anything's to happen it's close enough to intercede and help him we will be working to do regular and consistent updates and i'll even be doing some instagram live and facebook live we will also be putting links and updates and a Google Calendar so you can read what's coming up on the GoFundMe page and everywhere else. I do know that asking for $25,000 is a lot. We're going to be doing a lot of traveling even after this for his regular exams. They're going to be doing one month, two month, three month, six month, 12 month, 18 month, 24 month, three year, four year, and five year from what I understand, that we have to go back up to Chicago to get his venographies done and to make sure that everything is working this time. So this isn't just for now. This is a fund that is intended to take care of everything else going forward. And the best part is on the other end of this, we will no longer have to be worried in the same way we have been for years that a random impact on his spleen could cause a hemorrhage and if the hemorrhage is bad enough we could lose him or he could end up in another coma he gets to be a normal kid when this is over we get to learn what it's like to be a new type of parents parents who aren't worried for their magically fragile child so we thank you for sharing, for 
any comments of support, any donations, all of that means an extreme amount to us. And so we thank you.